Last night, dozens of people were stuck on top of the Sandias for hours after taking the tram to the top. News 13's Marilyn Upchurch spoke with a woman who was among those stranded. Marilyn. Roxanne Shire was one of the eager passengers last night, but her night didn't go as planned. After only 10 minutes of exploring the top of the Sandias, lightning forced her to run inside. It's terrifying. It's terrifying to to feel like your options of getting down are so minimal. A thunderstorm last night led to a power outage in the Northeast Heights. It knocked out power to the tram with 210 people, including visitors and employees, stuck at the top. We took the flight 30 last night at roughly 530, maybe six o'clock, got to the top and immediately right off the bat, he starts yelling lightning and telling us to get indoors, you know, for your safety. Shire went up with her family and says the lightning got bad up there. For the next maybe seven and a half hours, we were stuck up there with lightning hitting the cables and, and then they lost power at the bottom of the uh, tramway. The tram cars weren't able to go up or down. She says after being up there for about four hours, shuttle buses brought people back down to the city. Later, the Sandia Peak Aerial Tramway was able to get the cars running again. Bashire says it was a scary 45 minute ride down. It was kind of terrifying. We were just praying that I hope it doesn't stop. Many passengers weren't prepared for the colder weather, many without blankets or jackets. Every time a lightning struck and you heard it, you know, people would get scared and like, <gasps> you know, gasp or, you know, feel terrified. Like, what's next? She thinks the company could improve on how they deal with these situations, including better training for their employees. Uh, I feel like it could have gone a little better. Shire says the company did provide water and snacks. I spoke with the general manager of Sandia Peak, who told me circumstances were out of their control and they did all they could to make sure guests were out of harm's way while working with PNM. The company did not offer the passengers refunds. Back to you. Marilyn, thank you. According to PNM, the power outage in the Northeast Heights last night was caused by lightning damage to a power pole.